David here with Fig Boot on Pens. Today I have for you a pen which is brand new to the market. Uh, and that pen is the Lamy Ion. Uh, the Ion is a pen from Lamy which had been uh, heavily anticipated. Uh, it's been a while since Lamy has introduced a brand new model. Uh, they uh, add uh, new colors of existing models on a regular basis or have limited edition colors, but I believe the last new model they introduced was the Emporium back in 2015. So it's been a while. Folks have been really looking forward to the release of the Ion, uh, which seems to have been delayed here in the U.S. for a while, but they're readily available now. So what I'm going to do is go over the parts and the features of the Lamy Ion, talk about what I care for and what I don't care for. I'll show some measurements, size comparisons, and provide a writing sample. Uh, the Ion arrives in this box. It's made of cardboard. Uh, and this plaque with the Lam Lamy logo is uh, in raised lettering is plastic. The box actually kind of flips open. And inside there is a manual that... Uh, shows you a number of pens in the Lamy line, and then on the other side is filling instructions for each of these pens. However, the Ion isn't one of the models listed here. And then we have the pen, the Lamy Ion. Uh, it's available in two colors. Uh, one is called olive silver and then black, which I have right here. The Ion is made from solid aluminum and has a matte finish to it. Uh, let's take a look at the cap to begin with. Uh, the end of the cap is ever so slightly rounded, but essentially flat. Uh, the cap is one solid piece, and there's no clip band. Um, the clip is nice, though. Uh, it has Lamy printed on one side of the clip, uh, and then it is uh, hinged, which is uh, something that I like. I just uh, uh, There's just something about the mechanism of a hinged clip that I like. Uh, and this particular clip is functional. It's not too tight and it's not too loose. Uh, something interesting is underneath the, uh, the clip, uh, there are three semicircle grooves. And I'm not quite sure what the purpose of these indents are because they're not really visible unless you're looking for them. Uh, there is a, uh, a small plastic angled step down to the barrel, which tapers down slightly around here, uh, only about a millimeter and a half from beginning to end. And then at the end of the barrel, uh, we have, a, it, it is uh, kind of has some rounded edges, just like the top of the cap and is essentially flat. The cap snaps off. Uh, and here we have something different for Lamy, which is a brand new nib design. Uh, I believe this is currently available in extra fine, fine, and medium. Uh, and then just for comparison, here is a standard Lamy nib uh, and then the, with the nib on the ion. And you can see that the older nibs are more pointed and the nib on the ion has shoulders which are a bit broader. And here's a look at this rather sloping plastic feed. Uh, at the end of the section, uh, it has a, a raised ring which is part of the capping mechanism. And then we have a rather unique section. Uh, it is, it kind of reminds me a bit of the section on a Lamy 2000 or even a Faber-Castell loom, but without the rings. Uh, it really does help that the aluminum has a matte finish. Uh, it, I don't find myself, uh, my fingers slipping on this that much, but I could uh, see how some folks might have an issue with that and might not care for it, but it works for me. The cap does post, but I can't necessarily say that it posts exceedingly secure. Um, I haven't had an issue with it falling off on its own, but it doesn't take much to kind of knock it loose. Um, the cap is light, however, so if you choose to uh, use it posted, then I don't feel it throws off the balance of the pen at all. Uh, the Ion is a cartridge converter pen. Uh, it does come with a converter, uh, and uh, I have a cartridge in here right now, uh, but remember that Lamy does use a proprietary system, so if you would like to use cartridges uh, like these, then they need to be Lamy branded cartridges. Now, I have two main issues with this Ion. One is very minor, and the uh, other one, not so much. Uh, the, the first uh, is the orientation of the Lamy name printed on the side of the clip. 
without going into a long dissertation about the, which direction text should be facing and well, which side of the clip it should be stamped on, in my opinion, just know that the logo on the ion is printed differently uh, than on other Lamy pens like the Lamy 2000, so the orientation is a bit odd and upside down most of the time. Uh, now, that's a rather minor issue, but the bigger issue I have with the ion, however, is that when you cap the pen, while it is secure, it is not, it's not coming off on its own, but it is a little loose. You can hear it rattle. You hear that? That's the, uh, the cap rattling. And that's just unacceptable. Um, it needs to have better tolerances in here. Um, you know, it doesn't take much also to spin the cap around. Uh, and typically snap caps are a lot tighter than this. Um, this is something I really wouldn't expect from Lamy, so that was a bit disappointing. Uh, the Lamy Ion retails for just over $70, which is uh, slightly less than another Lamy model, the Studio, which is another metal pen in their line. Uh, the Studio is a bit thinner, um, but has a little bit more style to it. Um, but I feel that the Ion holds its own. Um, other than the issues that I have with the cap, I, I feel that it's a solid pen. And in my opinion, the $70 price range, while it's on the higher end value of this pen, I don't feel it's unreasonable. Um, I, I like the looks of the newer nib, and I find that that nib uh, is a bit smoother than some of the older Lamy medium nibs, so I like that a lot. Uh, and that this uh, matte finish feels really nicely in the hand as well. Uh, you know, it, it feels like a solid pen in your hand. And in the end, I feel that it's a decent addition to the Lamy product line. So, now it's time for some measurements, size comparisons, and a writing sample. Here we go with some size comparisons for the Lamy Ion. Uh, in regard to some other Lamy pens, uh, here it is with the Studio, which is, like I said, another metal pen that is uh, somewhat similar to that, at least in the same price range. Uh, and then here it is with an All Star. And then finally, here it is with a Lamy 2000. In regard to some other pens, uh, here it is with a Twisby Diamond 580. Uh, and here it is with a Delta Dolce Vita Oversize. And then finally, here's something that I don't think you've seen before, or at least from me, uh, which is a Sailor uh, Pro Color Stardust, uh, which is a... a a sailor pen with a steel nib that's a little bit on the inexpensive side. I think it was, you know, it retailed for like the $40, $50 range uh, out of a, a retailer in Japan. Uh, but it's something interesting that at a later point in time I'll review. Uh, and that is what it looks like in comparison to that pen. Here we go with the writing sample for the Lamy Ion. This is a medium steel nib, uh, and the ink that I'm using here is Lamy Blue. Now I'm go ahead. I'm using uh, uh, a cartridge that uh, that I had, but in regard to what this ink actually looks like, uh, this is what the Lamy Blue looks like. Uh, that it's a nice solid blue. Uh, it's something along the lines uh, very similar to something like the Namiki blue uh, or even something like the Montegrappa blue. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a nice solid blue. Uh, this is what the Lamy bottles look like. Uh, I, I like the style of them. It's easy to get nibs in here. They're rather deep. Uh, and then it's also nice because they have a little paper in here so you can wipe off your nib. So, here we go with the rest of the writing sample. Uh, that I find this medium nib to be a bit smoother. 
than uh, a standard Lamy nib. When I say standard, a historical Lamy nib, uh, that it is a steel nib, so you, with, even with a little pressure, you're not going to get a ton of line variation out of here. In regard to reverse writing, it is a little bit on the scratchy side. Uh, and in regard to ink flow, I think it lays down a decent line, as you can see by there. Uh, and then in regard to some fast writing, I haven't had any issues with the ink flow on this pen. So here we go. Uh, there is the Lamy Ion, which is an interesting new uh, uh, pen in the marketplace here for Lamy that uh, there's a lot to like about it. I like the looks of it. I like the feel of it. Uh, the only thing that, like I had mentioned before, that really gets me is the cap that's a little bit loose. But other than that, uh, I think it is uh, at least appropriately priced uh, and a worthy addition to the Lamy line. So thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.